how to upload music to Instagram. Okay, let's say you're on an Instagram story here and you've tried to like make this really cool story post to all your fans or friends and you can't find your song on Instagram stories here, right? That's super annoying and frustrating because your single is out in the world now and you can't share it on Instagram. How do we get this up on Instagram stories for us to share our song to the world? In this video, I'll tell you exactly how to do that. It's pretty easy and um, we can share our music. I'm Charles Klein, singer, songwriter, and producer, and I'm an indie musician going along this journey as well, releasing my music, promoting my music, creating music. So if you find yourself in that same position, please subscribe. Um, I hope to share these videos to help you along your way. In order for us to get our music up on Instagram stories so we can share, we're going to need a music distributor. This is like a middleman. It's, it is a company that stands between you and Instagram stories. And so we're gonna to need to go to these music distributors and just give them our song and then they will put it up on the Instagram stories for us. If you have already released your song, then you know, hey, I know what a music distributor is. I've already released my song on, on, on DistroKid or on TuneCore, or on CD Baby, whatever. So that's okay. We can still go into the distributor and make a switch to make our music available in Instagram. But if you have not heard of an Instagram, um, sorry, if you have not heard of a music distributor before, let's just start quickly from scratch. If you already have released your music, skip to the section of the video where we make the switch in the back end. I use two music distributors for my music. They are TuneCore and DistroKid, but you can use any music distributor you would like. It doesn't matter. If you want to use TuneCore or DistroKid, there are some discount links in the description. You can use those links to get a discount or you don't have to use them. Either way, we're gonna talk about TuneCore and DistroKid in this video. Let's start with TuneCore first. You would go to TuneCore.com, sign up, it's a free account, and they will only start charging you when you want to release music. You would go here, create single, or go to the top music, and you would go through a process that asks you for information about the song. So they're gonna to wanna to know who wrote the song, what the name is, you're gonna to need to give them the file of the song and the completed song. You're gonna give the artwork of the song and then TuneCore will provide you an ISRC code. This is just a unique code for the song that can track how many streams the song has. Don't be overwhelmed with any of these questions. They're all fairly simple. You go down, create my single, and then there is one more page that asks you, hey, where do you want to release this music? Do you just want to release it on Instagram stories and that's it? Or do you want us to make it available on Spotify and YouTube music and Apple music and a lot like Napster and hundreds of other music streaming services that are all around the world? And you can choose where you want your single to be. So make sure that you go and make Instagram stories available. You would complete the process, pay for the release, and then wait between two to two weeks to have your single available on Instagram stories where you can share it in an Instagram story, for example. But I do recommend getting that single uploaded about four weeks in advance of when you want to release the song. And in TuneCore, you can specify a release date. So if you want your song out on January 1st, you can upload it on December 1st and say, I want this song to be on Instagram stories on January 1st. And you can rest assured that if you do it four weeks in advance, that it will probably be guaranteed to be up there on January 1st. Let's get onto DistroKid now, and then we'll come back to make the switch if we've already released music, and then we want it to be still available on Instagram stories. Okay, so DistroKid for the beginners who don't have a DistroKid account is distrokid.com. Same type of metadata and information as you um, input on TuneCore, you will have to input on DistroKid as well. By the way, don't use two distributors. Choose one or the other or choose another one. Don't use two distributors to release your music. There's no point in that. And you actually will confuse Instagram, for example, if like TuneCore releases one and then Dist DistroKid releases one, it's gonna get messy. So only release your music on one distributor. Go through the information, same, very similar thing to TuneCore. And then there is some added features at the bottom here that DistroKid will try to upsell you on. You can choose these if you'd like, click the check boxes and then press done. Same thing to two days to two weeks, but I recommend getting that uploaded in advance so you can rest assured that your song will be out when you want to release your song. Wait till your release date, open up Instagram, and then make a sweet Instagram story with your song in the background. As you can see, I have a single released on DistroKid. It's called Skeletons in Your Closet, and I can go to my Instagram account, and it's gonna be kind of meta here. Go to music, go to my artist name, which is Charles Klein, and then I can find I could also type in skeletons in your closet. It's a fairly unique 
title type there and then the song is available and again you can choose where you want the song to be played by the way that's a good thing to mention you can tell TuneCore and tell DistroKid where you want that preview to be because the social apps won't upload the entire song they're going to upload a snippet of it so you can say I want that snippet to start at section 30 or second 36 of the song or start at the beginning or start at the end choose the best place where you want people to hear your music so let's say you already have your music up and it's still not available on instagram stories then you need to go back to your distributor and tell them to put it on instagram stories if you're using tunecore or distrokid they'll be able to do it for you i'm not sure about all the other distributors because i don't know them very well but they should probably work because instagram stories is such a big platform so with TuneCore, if you don't have, if you didn't choose it at first, you would go to this domain, web.tunecore.com slash Facebook underscore tracks slash dashboard. And here is where you can be like, hey, push this to Facebook music where it will be available um, on Instagram and Reels and Facebook. DistroKid is the same thing. You can go and edit the release. And then you can go to stores here and then add to more stores. If you're an indie musician and you're creating music, you're releasing music, you're trying to market music. I'm also a singer songwriter and indie musician and I'm just doing this along the way, sharing things that I've learned that will hopefully help you along the way as well. And I do live videos and we can chat about things, do Q and A's and help each other on the way. So consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.